Hello, everybody. Thank you so very much for joining me. It is outstanding to have you. My name is Chris, otherwise known as Wolfie. We are live once again with Massively Overpowered Zopi TV, and we are back in Final Fantasy XIV. That was a Shibu, you know, just flying through the air. These things happen. <laughs> anyway, yes, today we are here for a little something different, uh, or at least somewhat new, kind of new. It, I, I never know what the expiration date is on things like this. Uh, but, uh, yeah, patch 6.35 has been out for about a week, maybe a little longer. And uh, one of the things that was added was a new deep dungeon, which uh, if anybody who's watching is not familiar, is kind of like the roguelike sort of uh, randomized dungeon thing that they have added in 14 with uh, Stormblood. Right? Yeah, that's when I first was arrived with Stormblood. Uh, wasn't it? Oh, anyway, whatever. Anyway, uh... So we're going to be doing that, and I am not going to be delving alone, as usual. I am, it is my truly great honor and privilege to be joined by my very best friend in the world and ARZ's most magnificent cat, Britarnia. Thank you so much for joining me, Brit. Good to have you. Meowdy friends, I'm happy to be here. Uh, uh, Eureka, the this particular deep dungeon is something I was just like... Eh, I don't want to run it unless I've got a class to level, and I've got none of my classes at 81. But then uh, Chris said he was playing it, and I was just like, well, I'll look, I'll take that excuse to go through it. Yeah. Go through it with my best friend. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll be doing that a little bit. And to that point, I I have my astrologian out because apparently that it's, it's just a constantly beaten drum among the community that Deep Dungeon is really good for leveling. It's good for leveling. It's good for leveling. I, it's not been my experience, but who knows? I've got a couple of levels to get in this particular class. Namely, uh, well, I'm almost, I'm very nearly uh, level 89 now. Um, so who knows? Maybe I'll actually get to 90 through uh, this dungeon, but I'm not sure. Um, but first, I do have to actually open it. So that involves me talking to Ko Rabnata. Rabinata? Rabinata? Uh, Mikote names kind of throw me off sometimes. Anyway. <laughs> Ko is eyeing you like a bird who has found its prey. Okay. I believe this is the person who kind of started us along the Crystal Tower quest, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway. How fair are you, brave adventurer? Or should I call you the hero of the science? An intrepid researcher for Noah, perhaps? Which appellation do you prefer, Dancing Moonlight? Oh, wait, maybe I don't know this person. My character is immediately sus. <laughs> like, she's, it's like she's very sus with this cat. <laughs> now, now, there's no need for alarm. I am but a humble member of the Sons of St. Koinic, although plainly not a son. My name is Co... <laughs> Well, strictly speaking, it would be more <laughs> accurate to say that Ko Ravnata is a name of the vessel I inhabit. What the hell? To explain matters simply, I am borrowing her for a spell. That's not creepy at all. My true name is Noah. Yes, that Noah. Famed Archmagus of the Elegant Empire. Excuse me? Am I gonna... You know what I do with... Do you know what I do with people who steal others' bodies? Do you know nothing about me? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who I am? <laughs> Surprised you, did I? I assure you I speak the truth. Before you stands the very person with whom you have named your esteemed research group. Or her essence, rather. You have brave Circus Tarius. It was there that Ko chanced upon the orb which it harbored. Oh, that's right, okay. I do kind of vaguely remember that. Awakened into an entirely new age, I was eager to abscond from my stuffy home and stretch my legs, so to speak. So Ko and I came into an agreement. She would she came to an agreement. She would lend me her body from time to time, and I in return would receive the honor of being my vessel. Uh-huh. <laughs> and Walker Spoiler. I mean, Xenos was gentle when they commanded ours. <laughs> yeah, real gentle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Still deserve that punch to the teeth. One thousand percent. All the yes, he deserved that. He deserved that one man punch, <laughs> or that one punch man punch, I should say. Fear not. This is nothing so base as void said position. I can leave this body whensoever I please. 
but I did not seek you out to discuss the finer points of magic. No, there is something much more important we must discuss. Rembrus can scarcely stop talking about your adventures with the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, you see. I have heard the stories countless times. How in a strange turn of fate, Grahatia was awoken from his slumber in the Crystal Tower far earlier than he should have been. How the Ashian Fandaniel, who set out, who set our star on course toward the final days, was in fact Amon all along. Events of earth-shaking import. Events in which you invariably played a personal, a pivotal role. Your pedigree means there is none better suited to receive my request. Firstly, however, I would ask that you summon Grahatia to the Eight Sentinels. I suspect he will answer the call of a comrade in arms much more readily than an anonymous researcher calling themselves an Archmagus. Yeah, that makes sense. But, you know, he's also extremely excited kitty. <laughs> yes, this is he. <laughs> I could, like, see, like, him, like, like, you know those videos of, like, a cat, like, stuffing their face into a bag and sniffing? <laughs> yes. Yes, very much so. Fancy? What a pleasant surprise. Can't remember the last time you called me. Oh, my. Uh, are you okay, my dude? Oh, that was nothing. Nothing at all. I am <laughs> much more interested in you, my friend. Are you well? You aren't in some sort of trouble, are you? I'm, I'm here not spilling bucks, if that's what you mean. Anyway, uh, potential, potential Ashian possessed a person. That's quite the yarn. Say the Archmagus Noah, inhabiting the body of a young researcher, has asked you to ask me to make haste to the eight sentinels. I got it right? Yes. Dots. Absolutely fascinating! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there at once, as soon as I conclude my business, that is. I promise to be quick. Tell Noah, or is it Co? that I am eager to make her acquaintance. Until then, Dancy. Yeah, you got it. I told you. I told you this cat is ready. Cat is ready for anything. Cat will smell adventure. Cat will want. <laughs> it is true. <laughs> well, certainly did not mean to rush the poor lad. I hope his haste does not come at all uh, at the expense of caution. Even so, hearing the loyalty inspire in others makes me feel secure in my choice to place the task in your hands. Now then, it would be improper for us to be late to our appointment after pushing Grahati away from his work. Feel free to go on ahead. I shall not be far behind. Alright. Well, at least we're not dealing with a psychotic dead girl. You know, Swings and uh, swings and roundabouts, right? Oops, I'm going the wrong way. I think. Hang on. No, I am going the right way. All right. So in that case, I might as well just. Uh, yes. What is that? Are you in a tank? What is that? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah, gosh! This is, this is the mount you get from the uh, dwarf beast tribes. Yeah, this that would be a mount from the dwarves, wouldn't it? Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that absolutely tracks, all things considered. <laughs> Sorry, it looks like the Bonaparte from that uh, tank police anime. I forget the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> Except it's the wrong color, but, you know, anyway. <laughs> Fire! Fire! <laughs> There we go. Mm. Mm. Flying into all of the crystals. Yay, hey, crystals. Yep. I keep forgetting that flying was never an actual thing here, and so I'm like kind of... Oh, God. <laughs> yes, and you have to enter this door, and it's, it's a... It's a it's been a little while since I've had to traverse this path. <laughs> so, you know, kind of got a little thrown off there, but we're good. We're fine. Oh, there's no flying in the Ancient Sentinels proper. Ah, okay. All right. Yeah, there's no flying here. Okay. 
What? <laughs> Hold on. I'm sorry. Can we can we appreciate what's happening right now to our? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know these. <laughs> Yes, ha, ha, ha. yes, yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh goodness. Let's be honest. People watching is one of the better activities in most MMORPGs. <laughs> it's true. And every once but in a while, is it better Fantasy... to people watch or to be the one being people watched? Yes, I. That's true. City of Heroes, I definitely felt the 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 latter though, because you know I'd spend a lot of time writing a profile and and you know coming up with a costume and all this other stuff. That's fair and understandable. Came as quickly as I could. I haven't kept you waiting, have I? Oh my gosh, she's so worried. Chill out, God. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> this boy. Good. Good. When you told me that Noah herself was in a was a party in all this, I knew that it was an opportunity I had. I would be loath to miss. When placed against the rebirth of both Zand and Amon, the survival of Noah's essence seems almost quaint. Still, I can't help but be excited to meet her and hear what this request of hers entails. If I were to hazard a guess, it has something to do with the Crystal Tower. Your instincts are correct. Now, see those eyes. Deep crimson, the likes of which I have not seen in many an age. Yeah, Graha is the best mystical idiot, 100%. Absolutely correct. <laughs> oh, this? Magics are required on the road ahead, and I had to prepare. This adept enough as a researcher, I am Ko's aptitude in the ethereal arts is non-existent. I couldn't read that fast enough. Also, that's a banging outfit, my gosh. While my abilities now are but a shade of what they were at my zenith, they shall suffice. You can thank Rowena's House of Splendors for meeting even the most esoteric of my demands. He stole my he necklace. Stole my necklace. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really have to change your hair? <laughs> <laughs> I too chose the same option. <laughs> Truth be told, I never did understand why Ko felt the need to hide her face with her hair. I only at once feel the vision, so this simple change, it feels the world has opened itself up to me. And Graha's like, Mommy? <laughs> I want her top. I totally want her top. Me too. However, I do wish I had added a touch more flair. Amon would have clucked its tongue in disappointment at the sight of me. Alas, I had to appease Ko's preferences as well. She invest, insisted that the first few outfits I selected were much too gaudy, and eventually we landed on this compromise. Beauty truly is in the eye of the beholder, I suppose. Yes, yes, truly fascinating. Most illustrious Noah. I could listen for days. Yet there is the question of why I was summoned here, and dancing, for that matter. Why have you gone to such lengths to seek us out? I kind of want her hairstyle too. I kind of, I'm, I'm basically gonna straight <laughs> nick her entire outfit, except for the pants. <laughs> except for the pants. The pants are like not pants, but you know. Yes, quite right. To understand where we were heading, I must first tell you what came before. In the twilight of the third astral era, with the elegant empire at the height of its glory, a laboratory was constructed beneath the crystal tower. There, the empire's most sensitive research was conducted. The means of achieving eternal life and resurrection, clone technology control mechanisms for the icons, and the eventual completion of the Dalamud prototype. Those were but a few of the many projects pursued deep under the earth, all in absolute secrecy, with the full blessings and guidance of the royal family. It was dubbed Eureka Orthos by the Emperor himself, a fitting name for a place which would become a nexus of creation. Eureka? Can't mean what I think it means. Eureka is one of the oldest legends of Alec. The stories say that in the center of a vast labyrinth slumbers a weapon of incomprehensible power. The Eye of Sabiq? Oh, so the passage of time has not erased our deeds entirely. That legend has a hint of truth in it. The development of specialized weapons was a main subject of research within Eureka Orthos. 
It comes as no surprise that rumors of what transpired there would eventually grow into the tales of which you speak. However, Eureka Orthus is no myth. It exists as surely as you or I, and it was every bit as magnificent a feat as Circus Tower. I have reason to believe it survived the chaos of the Fourth Humble Calamity, relatively unscathed. I know where it is, and I know how we can gain entrance. <laughs> What's the catch? <laughs> There's always a big, meaty string attached to this nonsense. What's the catch? My peerless knowledge of teleportation magics will take us to the gates, and the royal blood flowing through Grahatia's veins shall open them. I would very much like to once again set foot within those halls, where I refined and perfected where I refined and perfected the means of transferring my essence to and from various objects. I can be a chair if I wanted to. What brings me to, which brings me to my request. I would have you drive into the deepest regions of Eureka Orthos and drag its secrets kicking and screaming into today. That's always a good idea. Graha is a royal I know, yeah, yeah, it's uh He's got royal bloodline. With the flow of time within the Crystal Tower restored, the laboratory should be fully active. Its unfinished experiments and long, dormant security measures wandering aimlessly in search of intruders. The first order of the day shall be to put these obstacles to the test and advance to the 13th floor of the facility. Uh, why? I'll accompany you. If this place is as dangerous as it sounds, you'll need every extra weapon you can get. I'm afraid I cannot permit that. Your role in this is the, in this ends once the gates to Eureka Orthos have opened. I understand your disappointment, but the same blood that makes you useful as a key makes you a hindrance to fulfilling this mission. It ties you too strongly to the Empire. Unlike the Crystal Tower, there is no need for Eureka Orthos to inspire hope. Alag is gone, its inheritors long dead. I wish for the Empire's deeds, no matter how unsavory, to be beholden with eyes untouched, unclouded by legacy, that they might be judged for what they were. Huh? That's an odd, quiet request. So, dancing, I know I've been long in the asking, but will you accept this task? Naturally, I shall offer all the help I can muster, and you are free to take any spells you may find. The spoils you may find, rather. There is much that could be of use to you, one such as you. Nod. Never good having a 13th floor in a Western RPGs, or the 17th in JRPGs. <laughs> I knew you'd find the scent of adventure irresistible, but I thank you nonetheless. Drink your fill of ancient secrets and buried sin. Well then, suppose it is time to make our ingress. Allow us to borrow the key that Rune and Doga entrusted to you so long ago. Erase is dancing. Uh, she is a Hellsguard rogue in, in the game, but in her lore she is half Hellsguard, half, uh, half Highlander. Daddy was a rogue, mommy was a Highlander. Daddy was a rolling roll. <laughs> Wherever he made his head was his home. When he died, all he left was a row, 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 <laughs> half row. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, that was wonderful. <laughs> half row. <laughs> <laughs> the connection seems to be stable. Very good. Oh. Wow. <coughs> Promise me you'll come back in one piece dancing, return any in any other shape, and not even another calamity will convince me to open these gates. Uh, yeah, no worries. I'll be fine. Probably. Lest you fuss over her like a child. She to whom elegant ruins are almost commonplace, who bested even a mon in combat. Compared to such trials, this will be a footnote to a long list of heroics. Once dancing returns from expedition, you are more than welcome to return here and listen to the report. Rest assured, you shall remain fully apprised of any world-threatening developments. 
Uh, she does seem to suggest that this is not going to be nearly as severe as everything else that has happened, so that's fair. It's a small reassurance, but I suppose it must suffice. Should you find yourselves at an impasse, do remember that I'm only a call away, won't you? Yeah, no worries. Now then, let's make ready. The secrets of Eureka Orthos lie in wait to be found. Nod. Okay. Now tell me it's opened. Do the thing. Slow pan up to the tower. Oh, it's just going to fade to black. Okay, there it is. Okay, now I have to talk to somebody again. Whee! All right. Here we are. Ram Bros furnished me with all the manpower I requested. The capable researchers of the Sun of St. Coinic stand ready to organize your expeditions and apprise you and praise any rarities you may find. As for my part, I have managed to offset the magical limitations of the vessel with my boundless knowledge, procuring two tools that should be of great use to you. First, special armor. You see, in the days before the fourth humble calamity, the researchers of Eureka Orthos fortified it with wards that enervate the, 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 the faculties of any... Wow! I thought I was going to trip up on enervate, but I messed up on faculties. <laughs> Intruders. <laughs> Even the most masterful weapons are rendered useless if they cannot be swung. To overcome this, I have imbued a set of armor with opposing wards, which should nullify the effect, thus allowing you to fight with gusto. Second, is a handy little device called a demi-clone generator. As the name implies, it is a capable of creating near clones in a matter of moments. Such clones, while imperfect, are often used in experiments. If you come across tombstones containing data as such experience, the generator can make use of them. Furthermore, while the ether of the clones dissipates as quickly as vapor in a, in a hot breaker, an extra hand or two may prove useful in pulling you from a perilous situation. All right. Take these tools in good health, and may they serve you well. Once you have steeled your nerves and sharpened your weapons, speak with Katoon to begin. <laughs> that cat meow. <laughs> right in my head. Don't, forget Don't forget to put us in a party. Oh, of course, yes. Should probably do that. Invite to party. Accept the party invite. I wish Ishtola would have joined this group. She would have put Ko in her place. Oh, yeah, 100%. Well, I'm at dancing. I'm Katoon, and Mistress Noah has tasked me with overseeing all manner of support for your expeditions into Eureka Orthos. The last over there is Valeroin, and she'll appraise the worth of any trinkets or treasures you may find. Mistress Noah has also provided us with a synthetic node, and we're standing by to offer whatsoever we aid we can. Take it that Archimagus has given you the two pieces of equipment she was so proud in making? Excuse me, but for your own safety, I must ask you to show them to me before I allow you to set foot into the unknown. Okay, let's hand that stuff over. Here you go. Invisible box. Everything appears to be working order. Now then, you're ready to go. Our first goal is to reach the 13th floor, or 30th floor, sorry, of the facility. Go forth dancing and show the realm that Alex's most deadly creations are no match for our heroes. Also, give me money. <laughs> Orthos is now made accessible. Yay. Okay. So we will enter with a matched party. Or did you want to manage to enter with just the two of us? Uh, we could do the two of us. Yeah, you know, we could do that. I'm okay with that. We could give it a try. It might be a might might end badly, but we could give it a try. That's fine, you know. The death counter hasn't fed in this game in a little while, so why not? <laughs> <laughs> and if it does go south, we just you know open the next party, open up to you know to randos. It's fine. Wow. Whoa, we're in the lemon jello, <laughs> lemon lime jello. Yo, whoa, wow. <laughs> Little impies. And wheelie hands. And what? Uh, dog <laughs> demons, yes. And those things. 
Barf, barf. Barf, barf, barf. Burn in hell. Barf, barf, barf. <laughs> <laughs> Your end is near. Barf, barf, barf. <laughs> All right. And we're off. Okay. Ooh. Intuition right off the bat. I'd love to see that. You got something on this floor, so we'll start yes, we heading do. this way. That was not the card I wanted to play, but it is what it is. So far, so good. Here you go, have a card. Thank you, just what I wanted. Oh, I'm level 81, I'm losing a lot of my kit. Are you? Well, some just like quality of life things. Ah, uh, okay. Whoop, I almost cast on that other doggo. Like I only have one acceleration instead of two normally. Oh yeah, that would that would hurt. I appreciate that that would hurt. <laughs> I haven't played a lot of Red Mage, but I understand, you know, <laughs> some of the things that are missing from your rotation. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything here, so let's Nope. We've gotta kill a couple more enemies. Yeah. So, fun fact, I've actually been uh, running a, a couple of friends through Palace of the Dead first, up to 50, and then Heaven on High, so uh -huh. I'm actually pretty warmed up to take this on for the first time. Excellent. Oh, there's our... There's our uh, horde. Cursed horde. Yep. Outstanding. Succubus coming this way. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> I see it now. <laughs> My life is different now. <laughs> Gosh, I'd love how pretty the astrologian uh, skills are. They're so nice. Oh. <laughs> Did you turn? What happened? What? Oh, are you a birdo? I am a small owl. You're a I small owl. <laughs> it's fine, I got this. Five more seconds. No worries. Mercifully, it's just one enemy and not multiple. Yay! Yay! Shinies! Uh, and I Shinies! And I believe we have opened the passage. We have. So we just need to find it, which is probably in this other room. Uh, if you look at the map, you can see the room that has the key on it is uh, where the passage is. Oh, right. Yes, that's right. Shoosh! Onward we go. We're blinded, oh no. Blinded by the light. <laughs> Wrapped up like a deuce, another ruler in the night. That is not the card I want. That I will take, thank you. I actually just learned a great way to know what card goes to what. I missed my Verholy. <laughs> Such pain. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> my poor anyway. best friend. My best friend has been nerfed. No. <laughs> anyway, I completely it's, interrupted you. What it's you totally fine. <laughs> I, just, I like how you just 
threw that out there out of nowhere. Like, <laughs> just the agony, just... <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Second, while well, I heal us up a little bit. There we go, we're good. Okay, anyway. I, I learned only just recently a magnificent way of knowing which class gets which card. Uh, so the ranged DPSers... When I cast a card, the ranged DPSers have this little O symbol on the side of each of their cards. Oh. But if I get a melee one, they uh, have a plus. Oh, oh wow. wow! I never knew that until literally just like maybe like a couple of weeks ago. I did not see know that was a thing. I did, I did not, know, not that. know that either. It's so that good. Is... So cool. That is. I am missing all my attacks. I hate being blinded. And I think we drew in a, every. I accidentally drew in everything. It's fine. We'll just go yeah. one target by one. Uh, it's fine. I would try and get him off you. Yeah, no worries. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to help by spamming my AoE attacks, but it's fine. I mean, I mean that does help. I mean, it doesn't help insofar as you keeping aggro, I mean. <laughs> oh, well, fair. Also, me healing. That's another thing that's probably not helping. It's fine. Because we can win by attrition. I'm alright with this. We can. There we go. See? No problem. And passage activated. And it's right here. Oh. Friend! Friend! It's a friend. Okay, I'll cast that magical card on myself. It's fine. I'm totally a ranged DPS right now. <laughs> actual agony. Oh, uh, it'll be okay, friend. <laughs> and you're probably getting an echo because we are in the same room and my mic is probably picking her up. Uh, apologies for that. Yeah, yeah sorry. A pomander of steel, which will be important because we have a tank here. Totally. Ooh, fortune, yay. I'll use the intuition again. And I'll use the fortune, because why not? Yes, why not? We always take those. Alright, gonna pull one at a time this time. Yes, good idea. I mean, I think we handled ourselves pretty well, but it's always better to be so. safe than sorry. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You don't want to go into a room and try and pull the others and then hit a trap and 30 others come out of nowhere. Yeah, that's a very good point, yeah. Oh, that's... Oh, no. I'm dead. That's fine. I'll, 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 I'll raise you. No worries. That big burst is a quick throw out, and it does massive damage. Yeah, that that uh, yeah that that does not give you a whole lot of time to get react. Wow. No. No worries, I got you. You got someone on your six. Thank you. All right. Up you go. There you go. Thank you. Oh, well, that could have been bad. I actually don't mind taking it slow here because it means that we understand more about what we're dealing with. Exactly, yeah. I completely agree.
So yeah, this is definitely not a speed run for the record. <laughs> We're just gonna be. <laughs> it's just two very soft little mage friends going through a little adventure. All right, plus one on the ether pool weapon. I think that was the weapon. Was it the weapon or the armor? I didn't quite catch it. That was the weapon. Okay, nice. And a pomander or a sight. Uh, you know. Oh. <laughs> 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 you know. Oh no. Also, I want to give a special shout out to Caretaker, who's watching right now. Oh, uh, hello. Hello, Caretaker. Hello, Caretaker. Welcome, Hope friend. He's doing well. And we got the passage. Let's Perfect. Go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a really small floor, so it's just as well that the passage opened just as, as quickly as then. Yes. It's nice when you get the smaller floors, because that means less enemies to get through passage. Exactly. Okay, armor plus two. We will take defense every day of the week. Absolutely. All right, All right two grenades here. I'm going to pull one. Yep. Okay, and now we know what Big Burst does, so we'll be a little more... Okay, back up. Oh, you just wanted oh. to be fancy with it. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, okay. All right, that's fine. I gotta give him that flash. Caretaker's watching. <laughs> you see what you're doing to her, caretaker? You're making her. Sw you're making her try and swag on us. Just gotta damp on the haters. <laughs> Big first. Yep. I do kind of like how it's like sort of like setting you up for understanding that there are going to be different mechanics than the other two deep dungeons. That's uh, that's that's a nice touch, I will say. Absolutely, yeah. Armor plus three. More armor, yay! Ooh. <laughs> oh, dog. Puppy. 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 Puppy, why? Puppy sleep. Puppy sleep. Okay, moving on up. Yeah! Well, down, I guess. Is it up? Or, you know, we're going down, right? Now. So this is all underground, so. Moving on down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that Zilsama is who I'm referencing as caretaker. Ah, yes. Hello, Z Hello caretaker. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow. I did see a bunch of boys walking down that hallway towards us when we were standing there, so we might want to be careful. Keep a head on a swivel. Yay. Are we good? Yeah, we're good still. Okay, cool. Oh, now we have little tiny baby behemoths. Baby behemoths! Ugh. <laughs> Never had my voice crack quite like that before. <laughs> it's been years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for this to do a... Oh! I kind of wanted to see it go off just to see what would happen, but I'm happy that we killed it before that happened. Something tells me that just like, do, oh, do, I know, I know. There's, I've seen some things that things die to in here, and it worries me. Oh boy. 
Well, considering how fast it, or how long it takes to charge up, I'm pretty sure we're meant to burn it down. So it's just as well that we're doing exactly that. I would rather not risk it <laughs> in that regard. Yeah. Flight. Ooh. Flight. We like those. Bird. Bird up. Bird up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, James, hi. you owe me a Coke? Oh, no. Behemoth heard us. Didn't like that. He really didn't. I think this is a get behind it. Yeah, that's an un that's an untelegraphed uh, cone attack, I think. The wild horn. Gotcha. Good, Good call. So I didn't see any uh, target painted on the ground, but I did see the swooshies all. Oh. oh boy. Yeah, there's a lot here. I hmm. Zilasama, aka. Uh, I'm sorry, blanking out. Caretaker. Caretaker, thank you. Thank you so very much for the follow. We truly appreciate the support. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for that. And we really look forward to seeing you for many more streams. Thank you very much, Frando. Okay, I thought for sure you were going to pull all three of them with that one, but you didn't. But also, everybody's just chilling here. Mike, why? Mike. Yeah grenade behind us oh I'm gonna go yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's go for that boy oh you didn't get that off okay all right I I missed the button the first time and I thought I'm I thought I was gonna die but so naturally all these all these friends chilling here just being chilling would would be the ones that are standing in the way of the passage. Correct. Correct. Okay. So far, so good. Behemoth coming next. Let's back up a little. Yeah, that's a good idea. Great pull. Nice. Okay, and I have a tasty card for you for the next pull. Back up. Oh, oh, that's, right, yeah, right. I'll, I'll get behind him, I guess, we probably should do, but there was not a whole lot of room to move, so I can't, it's not like I can't heal that damage, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I'll just tank it to the face like a red mage is supposed to do. Obviously. Red mage tank, let's go. I do All not right. like how that boy is just walking around. Dang it, not the cards I want, but I'll take it like I have a choice. Oh. Very talented makeshift tank. 100% agreed. Absolutely. <laughs> Britannia's talents are are incredible. Oh. I'm, a tank is nothing without a healer. <laughs> it's so sweet. Oops. It's a good thing I was targeting the thing I was targeting. Don't need to do that. I thought for sure I was gonna get dinged by that explosion there. <laughs> so I was like, cure everyone. Ah! <laughs> hmm. Gonna hit the grenade again. Yeah. We might, if we can maybe time it to where we don't hit the demon, like on his way back to the other side, we could probably bypass him. But if not, it's not like he's a big deal to kill. Yeah, no, it's it's fine. The real big threats are out of the way, so I think we'll be alright, but, you know, we'll see. Or we could just clear the room and get these treasure chests, which, honestly, I'm also 100% about. Yeah, let's go. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this is easy. Easy street. Oop. Okay, we're good. Yeah, good stuff. All right, let's so, clip. Let's get all these goodies. Get these treats. Still witching in flight. Nice. And sight. Excellent. Oh, there's a debuff applied here. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Items unavailable. Yeah, so we can't use our palm manders we just got. That's fine. But that's okay, there's less monsters on this floor. That's right, because you did put that down before we descended, so. Yep. And there's a horde straight ahead of us. Bags, yay! Bags! Ham Sans says, is, I've been in a full light party, the number of foes is increased, and you can't pull them one by one. Not particularly true. We, you run into these kind of rooms on Heaven on High and Palace of the Dead, and it's the same strategy, just pulling them one at a time. The real trouble comes when there's, uh, you know, patrolling monsters. Yeah, patrols but, definitely make things spicier. But even with a full group, uh, still pulling one by one is the way to go. All right, I'm pulling this behemoth. Mm -hmm. Get behind it. There you go. Oh, he turned oh. around. Never mind. I stand corrected. I thought it was going to... All right. Never mind. It's just unavoidable smacks. But it's fine. A little overhealing is a treat. I'll, I'll take a overhealing. All right, passages right here. Um, those are traps that I can get. So if you could just, yeah, you cannot silence this kid. You cannot silence this kiddo. Please unsilence this kiddo. I have been unsilent. There we go. Yay! I am unsilenced. Mow, 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 pom, 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 pom. <laughs> popcat time. It's real popcat pom, hours. Pom, pom, pom. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, my favorite sound. Oh, come on, dude. Why? Twice in a row? Really? Well, I mean, our armor's better, but still. It's a certified bro moment. <laughs> it's not a ghost, it's a boot. That was not the spell I thought it was going to do. That was not what I thought it was going to do. I, for some reason, I, I you know what, it's, it's all my muscle memory with regards to my dancer. Like, V is bound to my interrupt. And instead, what had happened was I cast Horoscope, which was... Un <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> it do be like that sometimes. Yes, it does. I get it. Trying to interrupt this boy. Just wasn't happening. <laughs> I don't know why I tried to assume your birdiness. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just no, kind of... it, it can't be done. <laughs> it, it, cannot, it cannot stop the bird. Bird up. Bird up. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> this way. <laughs> Once a dancer, always a dancer. Yeah, yeah, absolutely right. That's my main class for a reason. You 
do not get to do you do not get to debuff my friend. Excuse you, boot. <laughs> boot to the head. Boot to the head. <laughs> boot, boot, boot. It is nice to have a reason to use a Shuna, but it's not very often that happens, so... It's true. Boot looks like butt. A little bit. A little tiny bit. Boot is definitely booty. Booty, 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 booty. Rocking, Rocking everywhere. There we go. Also, it does feel like having a a, uh, a healer here is kind of beneficial. Oh, uh, a healer is definitely good in these deep dungeons. All right, we can move on to the next floor. Yes, let's do. A couple more floors before we get to floor ten. And whatever boss Whee. lies in there. Oh, hey, look, the items can work again. Yay. Yay. Mm, give us the goodies. Give it to us. Yes. Okay, that's a phoenix down, but I already possess one, so we'll get there. Alright. Oh. Dragon here. Yes. A very chonky dragon. Yeah, not sure what they're gonna do, but I'm gonna pull it. Why did I do that? I had the card ready to go. Why did I do that? Damn. I do it all the time, too. Why did I do that? Jeez. Oh my goodness. Toxic vomit? Not today. Anyway, hello, boot. I would say this boot is made for walking, but clearly it is not. Clearly. Big boy dragon, you ain't kidding. That dragon be thick with a few C's. A few. Hey, our weapons are improved now. Yay. 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 All right. And a little bit of a cluster here, but yeah, that night seemed like it was the most obvious choice it could call. Okay. None of those cards I wanted, but I will play it. So be it. Do you have any threes? <laughs> Go fish. Yeah. Oh, nope, not hmm. yet. Not yet. Not All right, Boot, your turn. I am getting the hang of this. I, I do feel I'm getting the hang of this class quite a bit. Heck yeah. Okay, so there are some friends skulking around down here. Yes. Ah, and, and there's the, the horde. Uh, huh, perfect. Yes. Mm. That is just what I was looking for. Excellent. Do I have a full set of tarot cards, or am I missing a few? <laughs> 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 Technically speaking, I am—I have a full set, as far as this class is concerned, anyway. Did I do that too soon? Yes, I did. There we go. Oh, there's a witch in here. Oh, okay. Oh no. Uh, 
I am fighting. We are fighting frogs and chickens now. Can you can you assume me, please? Oh, beg your pardon. Sorry. There you go. Again. Ugh. There we go. Probably. No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I hit a trap that silenced me, so I uh -oh. lost a lot of time trying to... Oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's get the horde. Yoink. Give me the goodies. Yay. Yay. We love goodies. Uh, Ooh. Un Une Demi Clown. Ah, okay. Uh, I mean, we have a Palm Man or Flight next floor, but uh, want to try this? See what it does? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go to the next room. Yeah, I really want to see what's up. I'm, I'm curious about this. Send Boot to the Shadow Realm. Absolutely. What was that? <laughs> Why did it make a whooshy noise? Oh. Alright, I'm gonna... Come this way. Oh, I can't draw my cards, oh no. <laughs> And... Whoa. We have a friend. We do. We do. Oh, it's just an extra character. It's an extra friend. Yeah, little little additional... Aha. Uh -huh. oh! I got you. Funny that they're using stone skin too, because I'm pretty sure that's not a spell anyone can use anymore. Not anymore, unless you go to uh, to uh, uh, gosh, the 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 Hrothgar place. I forget the name of it. <laughs> oh, Borgia. Borgia, yes, that's it. Yes. I'm gonna sidestep these enemies. Good idea. And here's our passage. Perfect. Oh no, he's doing a thing. Oh no, okay, okay. I thought he was casting. <laughs> I thought our, I thought our extra, I thought our extra little friendo was casting on, on an enemy. I was like, oh no, <laughs> oh no, it's stupid pet time. Does he? Nope, he does not. Unfortunately, does not follow us through the floor, but. But we still have plenty of other items. Go ahead and use a strength and a steel here. Yeah, good idea. Anything else we might use? Nope. Uh, nope. All right, I'm hitting it. Go for it. What is happening? What is this? Deploy mines. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I got you, no worries. Oh no! I... Oh! It's fine, it's fine. Oh boy. That's two. Alright, give me a minute. Yep. yep. Nope, no, damn it. There we go. Oh, 
way, look at me. Oh my goodness. This is kind of harrowing, I gotta say. Yeah. yeah. All right, so now this is when the bombs will go off in sequence. One, two, three, I, I miss. I'm, I'm out of position, but it's fine. Ow, it's fine. Ow, I'm dead, shoot. I got you. All right, we'll be okay. Gonna have to like hard res you, I think. Maybe. Yeah, you're out of MP. Not with All lucid right, dreaming, I'm not. La la. <laughs> okay. I'm definitely right gonna. Side, we've seen the fight. Yes, we have seen the fight. I was out of position though. It's gonna get. Oh, it didn't get dinged. Okay. Okay. Come on. Let me heal up. Okay. A couple more seconds and Swift and Sure will be back up. Here we go. Uppies. Uppies. Watch out! I think you're near one of the bombs. Yeah, it's okay. Transcend it. Gotcha. Ah, all right. Okay, that's one. All right, we're in position. I... It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Dang it! Ah! All right, my Lucid is almost up again. Actually, it's back up now. Oh my goodness. This is, <laughs> this is insane. Yeah. yeah, this is... This is actually, like, le legitimately a little more manic than I expected. All right, I'll just put a little dot on him as a treat. Okay, gotta wait to see what this pattern is and see if I can't hard res you. That's one, that's three, okay. So after this one goes off and I get in a position. All right, I'm gonna try to hard res. See if I can maybe tank it out. You got it. Uh -huh. Are you out of this? Are you out of... There we go. Huh. Unfortunately, you've taken a lot of the aggro, so he's still going to be going after you. Oh! It's fine, it's I fine, it's fine, it's fine. I got you, I got you, I got you. Alright. Alright, moving back. Moving on back. Rest out like a... One. Like three. a kitty. A kitty. If we pull this out, I will be mighty impressed. Oh, great. Oh, great. I've got an aggro again. I've lived long enough. Oh crap, I'm out of position. Alright, I'm gonna have to move real fast. Okay. I... Oh! There you go. Okay, we're good. 
Thank you. You're good. Stop with the mines, how dare you? <laughs> Yeah, but we have absolutely seen the fight. You're not wrong. We have 100% seen the fight. Also, you were so far away, I did not notice like, that you were out of range of my Heelys. Sorry. Didn't mean to get, put the fear of God in you there. I apologize. You're, you're, <laughs> not my intention. Okay. Oh, okay. Whoa. That's a spicy meatball. Oh, crap. Thank you. Yep. yep. Oh, come on. I was out of that. Yeah. How dare. I'm moving back towards you. <laughs> Which is a good thing, because I'm far away. Lol. Okay. Oh! Okay, this is three. We're okay. okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Woo! I was on the edge of Woo! that, and I'm about to break. Everything you say to me. Take me one step closer to the edge, and I'm about to break. Okay. The rings of this effect is way larger than I'd like it to be. <laughs> yeah, I want it to be square, not circle. Seriously. Okay, that's one. This is twos. Crap, it's fine. Just be careful. Oh, no. I got hit. I got dinged. It's fine. It's fine. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. It's fine. We're good. Okay. Okay. This is the... This is the hard mode. <laughs> yeah, we, uh... We did, here at Massively Overpowered, we do not recommend taking this on in this way. But if you're looking for more tips, tricks, and speedrun <laughs> tips, make sure to follow. If you're looking for tips, tricks, and speedrun hints, go somewhere else. <laughs> okay, Ouch. that's a chew. Crap. It's fine. Right. right. Yep. Now go, 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 go. Yep. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. We're, we're, we're winning by pure attrition, baby. Let's go. We got this. Oh, my goodness. I thought you were going to get hit, dude. Me too. Me too. We got him. We yeah, got him. We got oh, this. my goodness. What a battle. What a yes. war. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was wonderful! Oh, Le Mort d'Alagan. Uh, that we had no business doing. That, <laughs> 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 that was absurd, dude! Wow. That was. I bet it with four people, it's a lot easier. I like, suspect you know. it is. Yes, you're probably <laughs> right. <laughs> that was insanity. That was amazing. Oh, wow. wow. That was really, really good. Oh, my goodness. Man. Wow. Oh, that was... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you for healing me and rezzing me so many times. <laughs> I'm so glad I was able to keep pace just barely. I felt like I was... I, I felt like I was definitely not about to spin all of those plates correctly, but oh, oh, we did it. We did it, friend.
We did it. Look at you go. I'm so proud of us. (laughs) That was awesome. Yeah, so I think that's going to be the end of the stream today. (laughs) (laughs) What, you don't want to go through 20 more floors of that? (laughs) Surprisingly, no, I don't. Oh, yeah, well... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, though. <laughs> All right, but we have lots more streams coming down to the rest of this week, as usual, on later on tonight, actually, at 8 o'clock Eastern. Larry and MG are going to be together with some Star Wars The Old Republic. Thursday, March 16th, MJ is coming in with a double dose. Uh, 2 o'clock Eastern, she'll be playing EverQuest 1. And then later that same night at 9.15 Eastern, it's her usual Dungeons & Dragons stream. This time it'll be Dungeons & Dragons Online. And then on Friday, March 17th, 2 o'clock Eastern, I will be popping into the open beta of Exo Primal. And later that same night at 8 p.m. Eastern, MJ is back with her usual Adventure Quest 3D stream. We hope you will tune in for all of those. Thank you so very much for tuning in today. And a big special thank you to Britannia for joining me on this. I definitely don't know that I could have done this without you. (laughs) I'm very happy that we... I'm kind of happy we went through it like this. It was a definite challenge, but I'm glad we went through it. Yes, for sure. That that was that was that was nice. It was victorious. Feels good. Yeah. And thank you very much to everybody for everything you do to support Massively Overpowered. Whether you are watching our streams live or on demand, if you're if you're reading what we had to write on the website, or if you're doing generous things like donating bits to the channel, subscribing to the channel, whitelisting the ads on the site, or if you're one of our amazing Patreon supporters, no matter what you do top to bottom, you are the fuel that keeps massively OP going. We'll see you later tonight for more. Until then, have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you next time.